it wraps like a heart attack Fast fatal heart impact Past painful starts In fact I blast tasteful thoughts And past I back up my actions Fact don't ask Grab reactions Jack attack with every word Then act with class That's they hear me snap I got nothing to lose Cause I fought and felt the bruise Now I'm not the one confused Call the shots and they produce I ain't boss I'm finally loose Pick a new silver excuse I need the views to boost me Through a new abuse of being used Everybody wants a piece now Y'all can rest in peace Now you're dead to me So peace out Remember you're discreet now you ready for defeat Alrighty, hello, hello everybody, this is Kiru's show here, and now, whenever we last left off with this series, we had Izuku and the girls. Now, after being injured in the USJ attack, protecting two people Deku cared about, he sustained heavy injuries. His family came to see him because of the extent of them, and Ryan, he came as well. He wanted to speak to his nephew regarding information about what happened that day, especially some additional things he learned. And he did even talk to Izuku about the woman he's surrounding himself with, since he basically caught Deku kissing two women, who appear to have strong emotional connections to him. Now, Deku, he had to explain it. He cannot lie to his uncle, telling his uncle about the girls in his life and even the quirks he does own, the ones given to him by All Might. Now, while Ryan, he wasn't angry, he was more disappointed. Deku didn't go through the proper steps for Akira. He was not allowing these girls to participate in the matches male and female candidates for their family go through. And he was more or less not worried about the whole quirk situation. He took that as, oh, Deku's body must be built tougher because of this power, so it's fair to assume he beat me. Plus, he's a next generation cure. Ryan's been able to steadily put that into his mind. He can understand now a few things as to what may have happened. Him putting it into his head, his own version of those events. Now, with that being said, after Kendo beat <laughs> Inko in a fight, we did have the next match. Which we will set up right now. The next match is supposed to be Mina versus Yuya. Yuya is Deku's little sister. Not only is she capable of the removal, but she also does possess a mind-reading ability. And Mina, after being told that this is the person she's going to be fighting? Yeah. She was a little bit more on the I'm gonna probably die side of this idea. Now, whenever she did get to the ring after going to check on Kendo, she did see this girl. The girl has long black hair. And she does wear all black outfits. Her going to actually take off what looks to be a leather coat before going to toss it onto the side. Going to bring her hands up into a style she does not recognize. So, what? You're not going to go check on your mother? My mother will be fine. The doctors will handle her. However, I will handle you. This being where Mina, she does actually look towards the stance. As Asashi does step into the ring and go to bring up the coin. Him waiting on both competitors to say that they're ready. And after Deku does at least go to give her a nod and a thumbs up, he does look towards his little sister. She's looking his way. And while he does want to give her words, he doesn't know what to say to her. Obviously, she cannot hold back. If she does so, that would be a disgrace to their clan. However, there's this thing. That's the problem. His sister won't hold back. She might push this fight way past where it should go. And actually harm Mina. And that's something that Deku, he doesn't enjoy the thought of. This thought does shoot through his mind. And while well, he is thinking it, we do actually have where Mina, after looking back into the ring, Hasashi flips the coin. As Mina, she does go to bring her hands up into another similar style that Yuya, she does somewhat recognize. 
She notices it. She notices it as one of Deku's fighting styles, a non cure one. And while it is interesting to say the least, she does go to start reading me in his mind, trying to keep this pathway open. As over the coin does hit the ground, Mina she does go rushing forwards. In her mind, she expected to meet this girl halfway. However, Yuya she does quickly just do one thing. She goes on the defensive. She wants to show that this girl, she really can't keep up with a cure. And that while she is technically using her quirk to dodge, physically, she should be slower. And it actually is very surprising. A lot of the girls are just watching. This girl, she's effortlessly dodging around and embarrassing Mina. Her just going to throw out quick light jabs to show that Mina, she really can't keep up. Basically, the occasional smack and a flick to try and piss Mina off more. And Deku, he does notice something. Mina is not using her quirk. And while he does understand why, she really needs to use it. Yes, the ring will technically be under construction or, well, you know, unable to use, but the ring isn't the only place these matches are localized. Everywhere is their battlefield. And Deku believes that Mina should be made aware of this. As whenever Mina she does actually wait for a minute after going to take a hit from Yuya, she was going to bring her hands up. She's getting annoyed. Of course, she was picked up against the fucking mind reader. Because obviously, that's a good idea. Like, seriously. But she can't really give anyone else shit. These matches are supposed to be based off of the people who have the best attributes that are their worst. But what's her worst attribute? Mina trying to think. And Yuya, she actually is at least going to point this out. Asking if she's really going to take time to think in the middle of a match. Her going to throw her hands out in front of her saying that she's trying to think. And that she should stay out of her damn head. Now. Mina, after at least going to say this, she does actually think for a second, looking towards Izuku as she does wonder, is she just reading her mind or is she reading everyone else's? And Deku, after at least going to give a slow blink at her, she does look back at, towards Yuya. And yeah, while it might not be a whole collective area thing or a focused target thing, as Mina does think now, she's just trying to wonder a way to fight against a mind reader. What is something that she can do? Let's see. They think about your next movement. And if they're like that, then they can counter you before you make it. Mina at least going to give a smile. She has a perfect idea. As she does start to at least focus on one particular thing. She tries to focus on a memory that she feels like would be particularly annoying to at least focus on. And while she is starting to do that, you do actually have Yuya, who, let's be honest, she's starting to hear one simple thing, an annoying song Mina got stuck in her head. And it's just going on repeat. Yeah. Now, as Yuya, she actually is at least trying to clear this up or at least try to get through these thoughts or just it basically being the same jumble of nonsense, Mina rushed forwards and she actually did go to blast out a part of her quirk. As Yuya after at least going to see that, she was actually going to step smashing her foot downwards and going to grab a tile that did fly up from the ground. Her going to actually smash a flat palm into it as it does hit into Mina's acid. And it does actually at least test out how strong that is. As after about a second or two, the tablet does come flying back towards Yuya. And it does at least, it is about one fourth of the way dissolved. Now, the acid Mina is firing, it is a strong mixture. However, it is diluted to where it should not be able to eat through, well, bone or flesh since she tried to change it halfway after firing it. Now, as Yuya, she actually got to do that, Mina, she was rushing forwards, her sliding on the ground as she's starting to try to form a plan. She's trying to think out loud for a second. 
her repeating la 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 over and over again to herself in her head as she's trying to just work off of, well, pure instinct. One thing she does do, she notices that she's had people talk to her about it, like Izuku. She goes rushing in and doesn't think about it sometimes. However, she does just wonder, will that work here? It's not really a weakness then, especially against her. Now, as one of her minushas slide around and come directly up to Yuya, Yuya, she actually does have to try to predict these movements. Her being able to actually dodge out of the way of them, as she does start to actually start landing a couple hits. Yuya actually having to block the fist and attacks with her hands, instead of just purely dodging. And she does take it a bit more serious. As whenever Mina, she actually has go to throw a punch outwards, she actually is able to have it hit against Yuya's cheek. She tried to block the arm and move out of the way. However, she didn't get it as she was able to actually clip her in the side of the face. Her actually going to jump backwards as she just going to get ready. Okay, this one is annoying. Mina trying to plan out her next move. However, that's the thing. She tries to plan out her next move in her head while she's trying to sing this song. And Yuya and her are po both put back to step one. And Mina, after that does happen, she does get a bit more annoyed, going to activate the loan and try this process again. Whenever she does rush in this time, Yuya, she actually does show incredible speed. Her being able to block and actually somewhat dodge out of the way. While her body does start to take a heavy bit of a beating, there is what everyone is seeing. Yuya, she's refusing to use the removal, and Deku can tell that there's a reason for that. Yuya doesn't want this girl to be considered to have a rematch again. And that's something that Deku, he can tell his sister, she's going to be having problems with. She's too young and inexperienced. She has assassination missions. Yes, but she doesn't have a lot of combat experience. Compared to people like him, and even, well, most Gires, she's sheltered. She is thrown into this life, yes, but she's in the secret part of it, not the public fighting part. And that is something that does show here. While Mina, she actually is throwing punch after punch after punch, Yuya, she's just trying to just move and move and move over and over again. As after Mina, she was just going to throw a left jab, going to fake it outwards and throw a right straight hook, she was actually sock Yuya directly in the stomach. Her being sent flying towards the edge of the ring, as she's trying to actually bring her hands outwards to stop herself. And after at least going to stop moving backwards, she was trying to catch her breath. Her getting a bit more annoyed. As she was rushing with the intent of using assassination moves. And Mina, whenever this girl does go rushing straight at her, she does do one simple thing. She rushes this girl as well. However, this time, she does go to spray acid directly at her. And Deku, he does notice this. That's not good. Yuya is going to dodge out of the way, sideline her, and attack her. However, that's just it. Whenever Deku, he does watch Mina and Yuya, Yuya, she is going to go send out an attack that would go straight directly for the jugular. And it would go sending two fingers digging inside of it. However, Mina, as she was blasting this attack, Yuya, she has to go to jump into the air to send this attack out. And Mina, she has actually go sent going flying onto the ground, sliding directly under her. The moment Mina is under this girl, she actually has to go to blast her feet directly into the ground. Her digging into the mud-like substance until she does hit something solid, before leaping directly upwards into the air and smashing both of her fists in Yuya's stomach. Yuya actually having the wind knocked out of her as she does get sent flying upwards into the air more. And Mina, she actually does try to keep this momentum going. She's going up as well. And there is one of her Yuya, she does try to gain her balance. Her trying to steady herself out. And the moment she does do this, Mina, she's actually still flying up towards her as she's actually able to grab her by her leg before going to swing her over her and start to just spin over and over and over. 
Mina, she knows that disorientation, it might help her the most here. And as the two are spinning like a cartwheel, we do have whenever they do get closer to the ground. Mina actually being able to smash this girl onto the ring as she does actually land herself. And Deku, he's actually kind of intrigued. Mina actually going to have to step backwards for a minute as she does just go to get ready. As whenever Yuyashi is going to stand up, she actually does show a bit more killing intent. And she does go rushing towards Mina. For a minute, it looked like this girl would blitz her. However, Mina she is going to bring up both of her arms to block. Yuya actually digging some of her fingers directly into Mina's arm. As Mina, after at least wincing in pain and screaming at that, she is going to throw two of her fingers outwards. Mina actually going to jab two of her fingers of the girl's nostrils as she is going to grab her by the face. Now, this is actually where Mina, she just stare at this girl. And the girl, she actually does have her fingers in Mina's arm and she does have her other, hands, other hand directly on a nerve cluster directly on Mina's shoulder. As both of them are in a standoff. And Mina, she has to look at the girl. As the referee, he's waiting. He doesn't know if he should call this match, especially with the way it's currently going. However, Mina, she does just say one simple thing after Ryan, he spoke up. Ryan, he was a bit annoyed at this. Him seeing that, by definition, from what he is seeing, Yuya loses this match. Yuya actually turning to her uncle, or at least trying to. As Mina, she is at least going to pull her fingers backwards and Yuya's nose to start to bleed. Her screaming why, as Ryan, he does point out to her. What can that girl produce from her hands? Acid. And what would have happened if a strong mixture went directly up her nasal cavity? Yuya, turning back to Mina, as she does go from at least smirking angrily, to letting out a bit of a grin. Her going to turn and walk away as she's going to pick up her jacket. Talking about how just because she won that way doesn't mean she'll accept her. She still has to prove herself. Now, Mina, she actually does go to bring her hand onto her other arm. Her going to cover the literal holes in her arm as she does just go to bring her hand up to her arm, or her other arm, looking at her shoulder. There is at least, what, incisions that look like parts of a nail. And it's easy to tell that if those were dug in deeper, the attack could have actually hit. And Deku, after at least jumping down and walking over, he does look at this injury. Him going to help Mina get to the area where the doctors are. And as that does happen, we do have the next matchup, where it will be Momo against Carla. Now, this is one that a lot of people, after hearing Carla was participating in, they were hesitant to watch. As whenever Carla, she has stepped into the ring, she does look across her to see Momo. And Momo, she's been wondering this entire time. This woman is supposed to be her enemy, or her opponent, but that's a problem though. Their strengths and weaknesses, what is this woman's strength, and what would be her weakness? Her trying to run through the scenario, okay, she has a creation quirk, so this woman by that logic, she should have something to do with fat lip nodes, no, that doesn't make sense. Her running through it in her mind. As Carla, while she's staring at Momo, she's going to bring her hands up. Her going to wave her hands up her face, asking if she's still there. Hmm? I'm sorry, I got kind of distracted. Hmm? Oh, I see. Thinking about what you're going to do when you win. I can send you guys some handcuffs. What? No, no, nothing like that. Momo actually getting flustered. As Deku... He's able to point out immediately why this matchup was made. And it's very clear. As while Momo she does get flustered and try to at least change the subject, Carla just keeps changing it back. 
and all the other girls, they are a little bit more embarrassed for Momo. Since they, they are very happy they were not paired with that chick. Now, after at least some questions do arise as to why this matchup was made, Deku, he does turn towards Bakugo. As he does, at least go to whisper something in her ear, along with even passing it over to Kirishima. As it's quite clear, Momo, she has a tendency to overthink. And right now, here's somebody who will interrupt her train of thought, make it unable or harder to form a tactic. And since we're here, and I really don't want to put this off, we're going to do this matchup. I'm going to need a minute. Okay. Now, let's just jump right into the fight. We'll start with Carla and Momo. Momo, she does walk into the ring. And as she does so, she does stare directly at Carla. The match that she just witnessed with Mina, it's made her start to think. She saw how it went with Kendo. And, well, Kendo got lucky and Mina, well... Ryan called her out. The girl, she actually hurt her. She got a hole through her arm. And that is what does concern her about this matchup. This woman's supposed to be quirkless. And she's supposed to have the same type of power as Izuku. And that is actually where she's a bit more concerned. She needs to have a plan. She needs to have a strategy in her head going into this. That must have been where Mina failed. The girl, she's people smart. But when it comes to tactics and making something up on the fly, she can't do that very well. Yes, she's getting better at it and has been improving. But when it comes to strategic planning, that is her forte. And as she's thinking this, she is staring at Carla. Carla, who's just been looking back with a bit of a grin. Actually going to finally break the silence, asking why exactly has she been staring at her. Hmm? I'm sorry. Oh, were you deep in thought? Let me guess, you were thinking about Izuku. Mm, very well. Did you find the gift I left? Mm, the, oh, that. Yeah, we all found it. Mm, did you like it? I didn't know any of your guys' size, but I assumed Izuku would find a girl eventually. Mm, I should have impaired, included a pair of handcuffs. Do you think you'll need some? Momo actually a bit more flustered. Her going to bring her hands up, saying that sh she'll just have to decline on that. Hmm? Oh, you already got a set. I see. Very nice. N no, not nothing like that. Now, Carla, she does at least grin a bit, little bit wider. As everyone in the stands, they're just staring at the matchup. I saw she walking directly up onto the ring, flipping the coin and going to step away. Basically, turning around and walking away before Carla does even stare at him for a, a little too long. Now, with that, you do have where Momo was caught off guard by not only Carla, but over Asashi, he didn't ask if they were ready. The coin hitting the floor as Carla shows going to rush directly towards me Momo. Now, Momo, she actually has got to create a shield. The moment she does so, Carla, she actually has go to punch into it. Her going to send a barrage of punches left, right, left, right, over and over again. As whenever she does actually go to do so, she does go to step backwards. Whenever she does, she actually does go to start activating her removal, and then going to actually rush forwards with a large frontal kick. Now, the moment this actually does happen, it does catch Momo off guard. As whenever Carla rushes in, she does go to slam her foot downwards directly onto the shield, cracking and crushing into the top of it. Momo going to let go of it as she's going to jump backwards herself. The moment she does, she actually has to get a good look at Carla. While her removal is very similar to Deku's, but it's exactly how she looks. Physically, her body doesn't appear to be as, well, particularly curated out, if you do want to put it that way. And the reason for that is because her removal is around, what, 85%? Well, Deku and Ryan's, they're both at 100 Deku just a little bit further. Now, with that, this actually is something that Mina does notice, or Momo, 
And while she does actually take that into consideration, she does watch the way Carla does move. Her actually going to somewhat jump back and forth and go to throw jabs in the air, asking if she's just going to wait on her, and if she's just going to stop and stare, because that is actually very rude. Especially if she's not going to buy a girl dinner first. And Momo, she does just look at Carla. She is not really even too sure what to see her do. This one took her seriously. And is that it? Is that part of why she's being tested? Reaction under stress? She's good at that, right? Didn't Deku tell her something like this before? Her thoughts are running wild. And she's trying to stay focused on a subject. As you do have for Carla, she has to go to reach one of her hands behind her back and go to pull something out from underneath her jacket. Asking Momo exactly how well versed in weapons is she? I'm sorry. Carla going to let go and go to throw down a whip. As she was talking about how she's particularly fond of these type of weapons. And about how this is one she does carry on her all the time. Um, well, I'm not really too well trained in weapons. I mainly do... Carla going to actually throw the whip out forwards as Momo, she has going to bring her hands up. She goes to create a shield. However, she's a little too late. For whenever it does start to actually form and expand over her hands, the, sh the whip actually has going to reach around, hitting the side of it, and going to slam directly down into one of Momo's fingers. As Momo, after going to pull her hand backwards, the shield does fall into the ground. Her going to look down at her hands as it does look like one of her knuckles, or at least the part of her knuckle right there, has completely cut open. And she does just go to stare back at Carla, who does start to walk forwards. Informing the girl in front of her that right now she wants to play, and she's curious to see exactly how hard she can hit her without breaking. It's been a while since she had an interesting toy to play with. And as she does actually see that, she's going to go to pull the whip backwards and going to throw it out forwards with a lot of force. Momo trying to think. Her going to bring her hands up and go to try and activate the loan. The moment she actually is able to activate it, she is able to dodge out of the way of the attack, which would have hit her right in the face. And she's going to bring her hand up and go to grab the whip. Her actually going to throw her left hand outwards and go to grab the other part of it going to pull onto it to pull in some of it. Now, after that does actually happen, Carla, she does hold on, going to bring up her other hand and going to start pulling. As the two of them, they do tug on both ends. And whenever this does start to happen, Momo, she's trying to think. Okay, ideas, ideas, what can she do? Her just wondering. The woman in front of her is a cure. She's highly durable. And she's seen what exactly Deku can be hit with, what amount of force, how hard it must be, and exactly what can produce it. Now, as she is thinking that, Carla, she does just stare at Momo. If she hasn't figured it out yet, then this is going to be a lot easier than she thinks. As she does go to let go of her side of the whip, and then go to just walk in, or run in to attack. As we do have Momo, she does get sent off of her feet. Her going to step backwards and going to try to recover. As the moment she actually does get to throw one of her feet behind her, you do have Carla, who she does do one simple thing. She moves directly behind Momo and goes to pull back her hand. Her going to slap it as hard as she can forwards as Momo she actually does get sent flying forwards and smashing onto the ground. And when this does happen, the audience, they're still watching. As Momo, she does actually go to spin around and go to stand back up. Her bring one of her hands onto her back, or past her lower back, and then telling Carla what the fuck is wrong with her. Because that hurt like hell. Hmm? Oh, I see. Not into the rough stuff. I can work with this still. We'll work on that. Or Izuku will. Now. The moment this is said, you we actually do have Deku, who he does just go to bring his hand up to his face and look down. This is fucking embarrassing. 
Why is she acting like this? She could at least leave him out of it. Why did Ryan call on her? No. Momo, she does actually go to at least have her face turn bright red. Before, whenever Carla does rush at her, Momo does go to do one simple thing. She creates something behind her back with the hand she has, well, behind her back. Her actually going to throw it out forwards as you do have a ring that's on her finger. It's staying attached as an object is flying right at Carla. And Carla, when she does see a canister, she actually is going to bring her hands up to cover not only her face, but her mouth. However, whenever the canister does go flying closer to Carla, she thinks that she's safe. Until it does explode. And Carla, after being sent fl flying backwards a bit and stumbling, she is just going to bring her hands back up. Her getting back into a stance, she is going to look around through the smoke. She does at least shout that that was pretty clever, but that trick won't work a second time. And we do actually have where a whip just wrap around Carla's leg. And Carla, after going to look down, she's going to reach down and go to grab it. However, this is when her another whip just wrap around her other leg. And she does just pay attention to that. As over the smoke does clear, you do actually have where Momo is just going to pull as hard as she can and bring it up into the air. As after Carla, she did go to fall and hit the ground, she did actually go to try and dig her hands into the ring, talking about how this game isn't fun. And Momo, she just started to pull harder and harder, as she actually has going to fling the whips upwards before lashing them down as hard as she can. Carla actually being flung upwards before smashing onto the ring as Momo, she has actually go to pull. Her pulling with all her might, as Carla she sent flying up into the air and smashing into a wall. Before, she has just hit the ground, and then Momo, she has get ready. She goes to do this again. However, this time, she actually does start to swing Carla around in the air. Her just doing this over and over, as she does just smash her over and over again into the ground. And we do actually have Carla. She's being flung around for at least a good two to three minutes. And after at least trying to reach down, she has to finally at least do something. She does at least pay attention to everything. Her going to click her legs together and then go to move in the same force or move into the way the whip is spinning. And as she does do that, you do actually have where the restraints around her legs or ankles, they do go to let go or loosen to the point where she is sent flying. She does get sent flying through the air and she does actually smash onto a wall. Her feet landing on it and she does go to rush back downwards and go to smash into the ground directly in front of Momo. Talking about at least how this little kitty does have bite to it. And she's pretty happy about that. Her going to throw her fist upwards towards Momo as you do actually have her. On her other hand she actually go to manifest something for this. Her striking Carla across the face with titanium brass knuckles. And she's going to create another pair on her other hand. Her going to smash the other way again. And where this actually does happen, everyone was caught off guard by that. And there actually was Ryan. He did actually somewhat let out a bit of a grin. Ingenuity. And on the fly thinking. That's different. And you do actually have Deku who he did kind of notice this lapse in judgment. That wasn't planned out, was it? That being what Deku was thinking. As Momo, she just strike Carla over and over again. As you do actually have where she just strike Carla with the left hook, and one of her teeth goes flying out. As Carla, she actually just smash onto the ground, and then go to turn to look at Momo. Her going to spit blood out of her mouth, before going to bring her hand up to her jaw and go to move it back into place. And Momo, after at least having her hands up and looking at that, she does look at the expression on Carla's face. As Carla, whenever she has going to throw out a left hook, she actually does go to bring out her hand and catch it. Okay, I see this is actually going to be interesting now. So, you want to play games or play seriously? Because I'll start to play seriously. Her actually going to bring out her other hand and go to punch towards Momo. 
are actually punching Momo right into the gut, and she's going to lean into it more and send Momo upwards into the air, before at least going to look around the ring. She does decide ultimately that her whips, or her whip and the additional one Momo made, they're probably not worth it. So this time, she'll be alright. Her going to rush forwards as Momo, after taking the attack and landing on the ground, she just going to create something in her hand and go to toss it towards Carla. Carla seeing it and seeing that Momo created another fake grenade. However, this one, it does actually look real. Her going to block herself and go to jump backwards. As she just fixate her eyes on the object. And this is actually where the thing it does explode into a flash of blinding light. And we do actually have Momo. She created a pair of goggles on her face to protect her eyes. And she could move around the area to the object she thought would be best for this. As we do have Carla, she gets blinded. And she can't see for a few seconds. Her just trying to think. This clever little bitch. This being where she actually does feel somebody jab her in both sides of her ears. And the moment this actually does happen, you do have where Momo she has going to lean forwards more and smash her directly on both sides of her temple. Before Carla, who does go to bring both of her hands up to her head, she does actually get a surprise. Momo does wrap her wrists together with the whip and then go to at least pull them downwards and go to wrap her elbows together. As Momo, she actually does then go to jab directly as hard as she can into the back of Carla's neck. And after Carla, she does go to move forwards into the ground, feeling this power hit her. She does actually drop out of her removal. And this is something that everybody they do watch. After at least regaining their sight. As Carla, she's laying on the ground with her legs and her arms hogtied. And a lot of the people, they're just caught off guard by this and surprised. What happened? There was a flash of light and then just... this? As you do actually have Ryan. He's fairly impressed. This was interesting. Well, Carla wasn't a good opponent. She was enough. Hmm. Perhaps if she actually took this fight seriously instead of just trying to antagonize the girl. Maybe she wouldn't have suffered a defeat. However, she's the one who's taking this more lighthearted. She's not treating this as an actual test, more like a friendly little spar. And this actually does somewhat annoy Ryan. The girl she did pass. And apparently, her weakness isn't something they actually did anticipate correctly. This is flawed information. Ryan, he does feel a little peeved about that. However, he does respect Momo for the way she actually did handle Carla, even actually knocking some sense into her a little bit more, and causing her to take her seriously. That's something that has only happened with a few opponents. And them, yeah, they do suffer some Kirei wrath. Now, with that being said, Ryan, he does talk about how Deku's got some interesting girls there. And we do actually have Carla who, after everyone's been talking for a minute, just ask exactly if they're going to leave her tied up here, or are they just going to help her out? And everybody, they do go to look over at her. As Ryan, he does just say, not it. They're going to say it as well. As everyone else there, they do start looking around. And we actually do have where somebody does come walking up to help untangle Carla. And yeah, she does walk over and go to talk to Momo. Her expressing that she kind of didn't anticipate her to act like that. Hmm? Yeah, I'm going to be honest. I didn't anticipate you to do that either. But why are you saying all this perverse stuff? Hmm? Oh, don't worry about it. That's just how I am. You know. Besides... I'm curious. I thought you were sensitive to this information. This stuff. It's what I was told. Hmm? I'm sorry? Yeah, you know. Your relationship with my nephew. 
her going to point directly to Zuku, talking about how they've been going at it for a while, haven't they? Uh, oh, n- n- l- l- listen, that th- that that is, Carla. We haven't. Besides, the least that we've done is well kiss. Oh, Izuku, you pure little boy. Ah, I'm disappointed. You got a lot of girls around you, and you're still playing on first base? Carla. Yes, yes, I understand. Cure rules and such. <sighs> Lucky. Her going to walk away. Talking about how she's going to go visit a tourist place in town. And she'll send over a bottle to them later for celebration. At least to celebrate Momo's victory. Now, Momo, she does ask Izuku what she means by that. And Deku, he does just go to say one small thing. He's fairly certain that she's either happy for them, or she's probably going to try and send more stuff through the mail. And he'd rather her just leave them alone entirely. And Momo, she actually doesn't want to go to burst out laughing. As she does go to somewhat cough for a minute, and cough up a, bi- cough up a bit of blood. And this is actually something Deku does look at and take notice of. Him asking Momo as she does walk over if she's alright. Hmm? Izuku... <coughs> <coughs> Ow, I'll, I'll be fine. Deku bringing his hand up. Turning that she's not fine. And that she's bleeding a lot. Hmm? I, I think I'll be okay. I'll just go see your guys' doctors. Momo. Don't put on a brave face. Besides, I'm dealing with my aunt, these injuries, and you guys are dealing with this. Now is the time not to try and play the tough girl rule. Momo actually going from this false confidence she was trying to put on to a bit more of a, you know, shy, timid type of person. Her going to ask Izuku if his aunt is always like that, and that she really couldn't handle what she was saying in there. I'm sorry. That's just the way she is. Besides, I can't control it. I understand, but she just got under my skin. Besides, Momo going to look up at Izuku, her face turning a little red talking about how she did technically steal his first kiss, but they never had one proper. And Momo, she does want to go to turn, talking about how she's going to go to the infirmary now. And as she does feel like she just said something super embarrassing. And whenever Deku, he actually has to go to walk up beside her, he does talk about how he's very sorry about that. However, him actually going to turn and kiss her, as she's caught off guard, she does somewhat just step back a bit. Her going to bring her hand up and talk about how Izuku shouldn't have done that. And that if he was going to do that, then at least give them some fucking privacy. Momo actually going to bring her hand up to her mouth to cover it. As everyone around they do so and laugh. Talking about how they didn't know that she could say such things. Carla approves. Ah, anyways, that was cringy as hell. I feel very embarrassed at recording all that. Anyway, guys, I do hope you enjoyed, and if you guys are seeing this, that means I reviewed it and made sure it was at least (laughs) somewhat good to post. Anyway, guys, I do hope you enjoyed.